So I've been asked to say a few words about the uh, verse where some teachers of the law say to Christ, uh, what's the greatest commandment? And in response, Jesus says, the first is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And he says the second is like it, uh, to love your neighbor as yourself. And he says the whole of the law is summed up in these two things. So there's a lot you could say in that, and there's hu huge amounts to unpack. But uh, just one element that I'll talk about now is that in an interesting way, it's a subversive um, text that problematizes the difference between loving God and loving people. It's almost like if you saw two people walking down the street and they looked identical and you couldn't tell them apart. This seems to be what Jesus is saying. He's saying, well, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, which everybody would have accepted at the time. It was a very theistic uh, environment, um, and people would have understood what that meant. And then he connects it with a second, and he says, and if you want to know what that looks like, it looks identical to loving your neighbor. You know, you can't tell these apart. If they're walking down the street, they would look exactly the same. So he uses what is something that everybody in the culture would know, and, and respect and believe and then he connects it with something radical which is the idea that loving each other uh, caring for the people who are around you um, is is exactly the same um, as loving God that that there's no discernible difference that these two are in a sense somehow one so um, that in and of itself kind of I think is a it, it connects with that idea that those who say they love God but hate their neighbour or are liars. Um, the idea that that God is not so much to be thought of as some object that you love, but rather as as that presence in the act of love itself. That as you give yourself in love to the world, embracing the material around you, embracing the dirt of the ground, embracing the people who live around you, as you do that, you're somehow um, making manifest or touching or, or bringing into being um, God. So we become uh, the avatars of the divine. Our hands become the hands that God touches the world with. Our eyes become the eyes which God sees the world through. And our actions become the actions of God, that we become the body of Christ.